Text 3 O son of Pritha, do not yield to this degrading impotence. It does not become you. Give up such petty weaknesses of heart and arise, O chastiser of the enemy. Arjun was addressed as the son of Pritha, who happened to be sister of Krishna's father Vasudev. Therefore, Arjun had a blood relationship with Krishna. If the son of Kshatriya declines to fight, he is a Kshatriya in name only. And if the son of a Brahman acts impiously, he is a Brahman in name only. Such Kshatriyas and Brahmans are unworthy sons of their fathers. Therefore, Krishna did not want Arjun to become an unworthy son of a Kshatriya. Arjun was the most intimate friend of Krishna and Krishna was directly guiding him on the chariot. But in spite of all these credits, if Arjun abandoned the battle, he would be committing an infamous act. Therefore, Krishna said that such an attitude in Arjun did not fit his personality. Arjun might argue that he would give up the battle on the grounds of his magnanimous attitude for the most respectable Bhishma and his relatives, but Krishna considered that sort of magnanimity mere weakness of heart. Such false magnanimity was not approved by any authority. Therefore, such magnanimity or so-called non-violence should be given up by persons like Arjuna under the direct guidance of Krishna. Text 4 Arjun said, O killer of enemies, O killer of Madhu, how can I counter attack with arrows in battle men like Bhishma and Drona who are worthy of my worship? Respectable superiors like Bhishma, the grandfather, and Dronacharya, the teacher, are always worshipable. Even if they attack, they should not be counter-attacked. It is general etiquette that superiors are not to be offered even a verbal fight. Even if they are sometimes harsh in behavior, they should not be harshly treated. Then, how is it possible for Arjun to counter-attack them? Would Krishna ever attack his own grandfather? Agrasen or his teacher Sandipanimuni? These were some of the arguments offered by Arjuna to Krishna.